welcome here to the paddock for the last time in the Gen 2 era as we close the doors on season eight. It's been a really challenging year for us and I think for everybody up and down the pit lane, this event has just been back and forth with different weather conditions, an evolving track, an unknown track coming into this other than what we'd actually done in the simulator. So combining that all together, it was just gonna be a challenge. We managed to make that work really well with Oliver Rowland on the first day in wet conditions and it meant we were able to push the car forwards in qualifying, get pole position and head into the race. We didn't manage to take the win, mainly because across the start line, slippery paint cost us three seconds and in Formula E, three seconds is a race win. But we carried through the performance we've seen there into the Sunday. On Sunday, it's much more difficult because everybody's back on a level playing field. Everyone's got used to the track a bit more and weather conditions are back to dry, which means that it's just flat out performance. Now we actually had some good sectors in FP3 first in practice, but then carrying that through to qualifying, we didn't manage to hook the lap together. And as a result, we were starting further back towards the back of the field. So heading into the final race of this Gen 2 era, we really had to play our trump card. Starting towards the back of the grid, we needed to do something different. So we split the strategy across the cars, looking to push Oliver Rowland forwards as much as we could from P18 start. And with Alexander taking energy saving strategy, just hope for a safety car to come along. That didn't work out for Oliver because of a first lap incident, which he just could not avoid and it ended his race. But with Alexander, we maximized the opportunity and managed to climb up to P12 by the end of the race. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get that extra little bit, which had pushed us through to the points. But firstly, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting the team. It's been a hard graft this year, but we've put in the effort and we look forward to taking that through to Gen 3, where we know we will be stronger. And at the same time, from ZF, this powertrain has been propelling us forward all through the last two seasons, and we're looking forward to carrying that through to our next generation and sitting on that top step.